the battling 7-5, 3-6, 6-2 win set up a title match against either France or Romania in November. Samantha Stosel and Ashley Barty are powered Australia into the Fed Cup final. Patrick Hamilton AFP The tie was sent into the crucial doubles match after Azarenka crushed Stosa 6-1, 6-1 in the reverse singles, following Barty sweeping past Sabalenka 6-2, 6-2. Belarus, a losing finalist in 2017, was scheduled to pit Lidzi Yamarazava and Vera Lapko against the Australian duo, who were playing together for the first time. But they fell short to give seven-time champions Australia a crack at the first title since last winning in 1974. I could not have picked two more perfect athletes to compete. Ash and Sam are superstars, said elated Australian captain Alicia Mollick. Barty called making the final unbelievable, while Stosa said it was super exciting. We knew it was going to be a tough one and we're just so happy with how we played, added Stosa. All the girls have worked so hard throughout the year and we really stick together, watched on Pat Raft Arena by Yvonne Gouligong, who led Australia to that last Fed Cup win. The home team grabbed an early break against the Sabalenka serve in the opening game. Belarus evened it up in Game 6 and they exchanged breaks again before the Australians attacked the Azarenka serve to break and go 6-5 in front, with Stosa securing the set with an overhead smash. The second set went with serve until a powerful Sabalenka forehand off the Stosa serve gave Belarus the edge and Sabalenka served out the set to take the tie to the wire. A net volley from Stosa gave Australia the crucial advantage off the Azarenka serve in the fourth game of set three and they held their nerve for a famous victory. Very focused, earlier, high school world number nine Barty produced a commanding performance to beat Sabalenka, ranked one place below her. She got a break in Game 5 of the first set, when the Belarusian fired down four double faults, including on break point. Sabalenka's serving wobbles continued with Barty exploiting the weakness to take the set. A tight second set also went with serve until the fifth game, and in a mirror image of the first Barty again broke when Sabalenka double faulted as the pressure mounted and sealed the match with an ace. A really clean match today. I stuck to my game plan well and was able to execute under pressure, said Barty, who is now on a 13-match Fed Cup winning streak. Former US Open champion Stosa has often struggled on home soil, although success hasn't been completely elusive. On her last appearance down under in January she won the women's doubles title at the Australian Open. But the nerves were fluttering in her singles match against two-time Australian Open winner Azarenka, who quickly took charge racing to 4-1 to one lead. Stosa fired down seven double faults as Azarenka won the set in just 29 minutes and the second followed a similar pattern. It was about either we stay and fight for another match or go home, said Azarenka. Sir I was very focused, your guide to the latest election news, analysis, commentary, live updates and schedule for Loxaba elections 2019 on firstpost.com slash elections. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram or like our Facebook page for updates from all 543 constituencies for the upcoming general elections. Updated date, April 21, 2019, 16 hours 10 minutes and 22 seconds ISD tags. Alicia Mollick, Irina Sabalenka, Ashley Barty, Australia Fed Cup, Yvonne Gouligong, Fed Cup, Fed Cup 2019, Lydia Marizava, Samantha Stosa, Tatiana Pouchek, Tennis, Vera Lapko, Victoria Azarenka, Let's Block Ads. Why?